Hey, what is up, YouTube? Hey, uh, it's very nice out today, so I had to get this video together and uh, try to get out in the yard and do a little bit of work. It's like 72 out right now. It was 45 yesterday, so I, I'm completely stoked to be able to get out in the yard. Woo! Yeah, it's been a long time coming, I tell you. So, a couple of things I wanted to go over uh, before I get out in the yard. So, many of the guys have been going through and getting uh, stickers made for their YouTube channel. So, I decided I would try my hand at it. Um, I'm not sure how well these are going to go, but they came in on uh, a bunch of sheets there. There we go. Right? So, it just came in a sheet as opposed to some of the other ones. They uh, are kind of individual cut out and everything else so these things weren't anything extravagant but i figured i'd try my hand at making up some stickers i don't know how well these will go like on the mower if you know the, the color will run off of it or yeah any water getting on them will just absolutely disintegrate the stickers i don't know but it wasn't that much i just got through like vista print so some of you guys have uh, already got some sent out to you if anyone else is uh, wanting some stickers, let me know and I'll work with it and I'll, I'll send out some stickers. So, the, uh, the next thing is maybe the picture looks a little bit better. I finally broke down and I got a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, the, uh, the knockoff camera that I had, it was an Akaso supposed 4K camera. Did not record in 4K. Didn't have good image stabilization on it and it did not uh, support my external Rode microphone that I'd also bought. So that thing is just gonna kinda of sit off the side. Maybe I can use it for something else. Um, so my main recording device now is gonna be this GoPro. Um, I do need to get a, a riser mic right now. The, uh, the microphone does not have the, uh, the wind uh, muzzle thing. It looks like a dead rat. Uh, if I put it on there right now, it would be kind of cutting off right at the top of the uh, the picture there. And uh, you'd be looking at a dead rat on top of the uh, picture half the time. So I need to get a riser for it still. No big deal. With me recording in the garage, I think this is going to be okay right now. If I got out in the yard and start recording, it's probably if there's any wind picking up, that would probably be all bad. So that was something else I, I did want to... Uh, uh, get for the channel to try to get a little bit better content, better uh, clarity of the picture, and uh, better audio. Um, Seems like if you have better audio, it's going to give a little bit better of a, uh, a video experience, you know. So. All right, so looking through the yard, I do have some winter weeds that I need to take care of. Uh, there's some wild onion, and uh, what I thought was chickweed originally, there still might be a tiny bit out there that I didn't see, but um, I think most of the the other things I see in the yard is uh, bittercress. Um, for looking at kind of comparison, the bittercress, I guess, grows a little bit more vertical, looks slightly different. Uh, the chickweed kind of grows out a little bit more. Um, so I do believe I have mostly bittercress in the yard. Um, but uh, to try to kind of hit it all, just in case I do have any chickweed or if it's bittercress, I did pick up some sulfentrazone. Um, and this will also take care of uh, my known nuts edge problem. Uh, so uh, kind of give me a, a good all-around coverage to kill most of the weeds that I've been having problems with. Um, now upon talking to, oh, I got, oh, sucks getting old, my knees are killing me. So upon talking to Ray, aka Green Doc, the man, the myth, the legend, if you didn't see him on Matt Martin's live feed the other uh, Sunday, go back and check that out. I'll put a link up here. Um, he did suggest that while the sulfentrazone will be good for the bittercress and it does uh, slightly work on the wild onion and uh, chickweed, it isn't as effective against the, uh, the wild onion and the chickweed. So he has suggested bumping down the rate of the sulfentrazone um, instead of doing a suggested rate of 0.1 ounce to 0.18 ounce back it down a little bit to 0.08 ounce per thousand and then do a normal suggested rate of triclop here to go with that so you get uh, kind of a double uh, mode of action on it and that will take care of it so uh, that's going to be my plan on that all right so the last thing i want to show before i get out in the yard is uh, i did pick up another product 
and this will be uh, maybe a little bit later when the, the lawn actually wakes up a little bit more. So uh, I got some a uh, uh, couple products, some uh, ferrous sulfate as well as some ammonium sulfate. Um, so basically this is going to give you a, a ferrous ammonium sulfate which will basically give you a iron supplement in the yard uh, as a uh, water dissolvable. So you put it in the tank sprayer, go out and spray it down. Um, I'll put the uh, the link, the uh, the rates up here. Um, so you go through, spray this down, and so you have one that will give you your iron. It's like I believe 21% iron. The other is a uh, kind of acts as a, a little bit of a fertilizer to help push that iron into the lawn a little bit quicker. Um, you can go without it. I'm told. So this is all based on a lawn forum um, discussion where. I believe it was Mighty Quinn is the uh, the screen name um, went through and started doing this. So I'll post a link to that, and also I'll put the uh, the rates on here. Um, so uh, this one, as you see, is upside down. There's some residue on the on the ground here. When I went to open up the box, as soon as I did, it was it was a little bit like a a glitter bomb. I mean, there was powder kind of went everywhere. As far as uh, Department of Homeland Security didn't show up in my house seeing a bunch of white powder, about 25 pounds of it. Um, but uh, so the, there's a little bit of a hole at the top and it's actually even leaking a little bit on the bottom. Um, but as far as this, I'll, I'll have to figure something out, either put it in a, a Rubbermaid container to kind of keep it dry and try to get rid of this mess that's uh, you know getting all over my floor. Um, but I wanted to show that one, even in this box, there's quite a bit of uh, powder in there, still probably, I don't know, maybe a, a tablespoon or so. But uh, that was another one I want to show, so I will get out there and spray this, it'll probably be at a later time. So, the last thing, I guess I said that about this as well, but the last, last thing is the backyard. So I am about ready to put more seed down because uh, there's so much of bare spots back there and some grass that died off. Um, I do need to put more seed down, so I'll probably do a separate video on that. Um, and I will be putting down more seed and I will put some, uh, some tenacity on top of it to act as my pre-emergent, since I won't be able to obviously put any pre-emergent down if I'm putting seed down um, with the pre-emergent. Uh, I think I'm going to try maybe this uh, coming Tuesday to put down my pre-emergent. That way it'll give me time to get my dismiss in, let that uh, work its way in. And um, and then come uh, in a few days, I will be able to put down my pre-emergent and try to get that watered in. The GoPro, the uh, battery just died on me. I thought I had enough. Killed like 40% in that short amount of time. Had to, uh, had to do it right, had to mark it. It's official. So now what I'm going to do is, so I've got my, I've got some marking blue I'm going to play with. I'm going to put 0 0.08 ounces in the tank for that, which is just under a half teaspoon. Uh, I didn't have a metal measuring spoon, but this came with the tenacity. It does mark teaspoons. There is a half teaspoon mark, so I will just uh, use that and rinse it out real good afterwards. I will do a recommended rate of the triclopyr. This is 0.75 ounce per thousand square foot. And so I will put that in my measuring cup here, put that down, and we'll go spraying. I got a feeling since I got my phone now, I'm probably not going to be able to go through and uh, uh, kind of hold and spray at the same time. So I'll show you the, uh, the end results. All right, well, went through and sprayed. You can see definitely some blue marks where I did go through and spray. That's all the uh, wild onion. You can see some spots out there. So uh, what ultimately happened was this ran through a lot quicker than I expected. And I had to go through and make up a second gallon. Um, I didn't worry as much about the marking dye around the back side over there. There's still a little bit in the tank. Um, just didn't make it as dark through there a little bit over here once it all up through here definitely makes it a lot more noticeable to see where you're spraying yeah that looks horrible stuff we're gonna have to get worked on this year that was where uh, I tried to 
patch where the uh, crabgrass was all through there. Killed that off, put down more seed, and then the uh, patio guys tore it up some more. But we'll see how that goes. So the high pressure came out. Well, actually, I even ran on low pressure to try to limit how quick the uh, product comes out. Um, I used the, uh, it came with a 25 degree angle spray, um, but it came out really quick. So I tried to work a little bit quick. So hopefully I didn't go too heavy handed. Guess we'll find out. Um, but I did find my, my first pisser offer with the, uh, um, sprayer nozzle assembly. And it's really not that big of a deal, but when I was, uh, pulling the sprayer off the wall, Notice it looked a little weird. Wow, wow. So I'll just probably have to run the lows and get another quarter inch MPT elbow and uh, get that put on. But uh, stinks, I didn't even really get to apply any product to it. Just, you know, walking down the street trying to uh, calibrate the sprayer and then I pull off the wall and it's broke. That sucks. But whatever. I'll get another piece and put on there.